A father narrating the gruesome discovery of the lifeless bodies of his child and grandchildren lying in a pool of blood. A man wielding an axe hacked his lover and her children to death. The gruesome discovery was made by the eldest child of the woman the following morning. My daughter stayed with someone, but on Tuesday night, a family member who came from watching soccer from a neighbor's house came and knocked, but my daughter's partner said they would not open at that time of the night. Then on Wednesday morning, he went there again to prepare for school. He knocked and the door opened by itself. He saw the bodies lying in a pool of blood. They were all beheaded and hacked. He then came and told us he went there, but we did not find her love partner. This hurts so much. In this home we live on social grant money. Our children are unemployed. I don't even have food to give to the people who come to mourn with us. He took the children's Sasa card. He then cut their birth certificates and ID documents into pieces. We didn't find the Sasa card in that house. The community is in shock. What happened here has never happened before. We are so hurt. How are we going to afford six coffins? Because this family is very poor. We ask government to help us because this family is struggling. The police are investigating. We are therefore requesting community assistance in finding the husband whom we believe is in a position to assist police investigation into the incident. Any information received will be treated with strict confidentiality. Another senseless killing where a woman and her children are the victims at the hands of a man. Now the family faces a bleak festive season after losing their loved ones. The brutal attack comes a week after the safety department has urged people not to tolerate any kind of assault from their partners. Atule Joga, SABC News, Stabegweni Village, Koha, and the Eastern Cape.